message of the Holy Gospel with Joseph and Eliza. Luke 1, 15th Sunday in Ordinary Time A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew chapter 13 verses 1 to 9. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord! On that day, Jesus went out of the house and sat down by the sea. Such large crowds gathered around him that he got into a boat and sat down. And the whole crowd stood along the shore, and he spoke to them at length in parables, saying, A sower went out to sow, and as he sowed, some seed fell on the path. And birds came and ate it up. Some fell on the rocky ground, where it had little soil. It sprang up at once, because the soil was not deep. And when the sun rose, it was scorched, and it withered for lack of roots. Some seed fell among thorns, and thorns grew up and choked it. But some seed fell on rich soil and produced fruit a hundred or sixty or thirty-fold. Whoever has ears out to hear the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, O Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. The Gospel we heard today is one of the popular parables. It is frequently heard when talking about how we establish our faith. Is our faith a thing so shallow that we immediately retract from a minor inconvenience? Is our faith a thing so small that we are constantly distracted by other material things? Is our faith a thing so irrelevant that we fail to find time to learn and love it? Or is our faith worthy to try for? Usually, in the parable of the sower, one would focus on the seeds. The seeds signify that we all have an equal chance to grow and bloom. All of us have an equal chance to become propagators of kindness and compassion. All of us have the ability to grow in Christ's love. Now, another factor we must focus on is the soil. The soil is where the seed grows. Likewise, we too are shaped by our environment. The hard soil is similar to those who have been walked over again and again, creating a rough, unstable surface, resulting in their inability to have the environment suitable for seeds of wheat to grow in. The rocky and thorny soil represents those who have overcrowded lives and have no room for anything more which is why they refuse the gift of faith. The last soil is the good soil. However, good soil isn't just something you can buy. Loam soil takes years to cultivate and nurture for the plants it will grow. So, what does this exactly mean? The parable is a story that tells us that we all have a chance to grow and propagate love and live in faith. However, our environment, or the soil, are just one of the many factors that can affect our growth. Therefore, it is important for us to understand that we must be among those who aspire to be good soil to others. We are called to be disciples, instruments of love. To be good soil, we need nutrients, the sacraments, the scripture, and love. Steps in being good soil can be as simple as being polite and courteous, even to complete strangers. One can also be a helping hand by taking part in doing household chores, or by teaching classmates in the lessons they struggle in. Little acts of kindness are big steps in the nourishment of soil. These create the suitable environment for seeds to grow in, creating a lovely place for faith to propagate. Thank, Thank you, you for watching. watching! Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Let's spread the word of God. Bye! Bye.